I'm Matt from Sure Tape. Today we're going to show you how you can use fog tape, painter's masking tape, as a tool to increase your productivity, efficiency, and ultimately lead to best profits for you. Frog is a completely unique product. Um, it has a polymer on the edge, which is as you can see there is a white frost on the edge of the tape. Um, this po polymer reacts instantly with the paint and sets a barrier to mean that you get a lovely, crisp, sharp line. So we'll demonstrate that now. So as with all masking tips, you apply, apply firmly, and then apply paint. And as with all masking tapes, you should remove the paint, the tape while the paint is still wet. What's happening at the minute, a chemical reaction is taking place along the edge of the tape. The polymer is in here. The polymer is called paint block. The polymer reacts with water to create a barrier. The paint, the paint hits the edge of the tape and this reaction takes place. It hits and it sets instantly, therefore giving you a crisp, clean line. So we'll now remove the tape from there and we'll see that reveals lovely sharp lines. You will note that we have three types. We have the green, which is for multi-surfaces. So that's for the glass, tiles, ceramics, untreated wood and cured paint. The yellow one is for delicate surfaces. So that's for wallpaper, new paint, new plaster. And the orange one is for gloss and satin paint. So when you're painting skirting boards, architraves, woodwork, things like that. Just a couple of differences between the uh, yellow and the green. So as we said, it's a delicate surface product. So that means that it treats the surface delicately. Um, it's a low tack tape. Again, you should remove the tape while the paint's still wet. And how we can prove that this is a low tack or a delicate surface, if you did that, to a standard masking tape, then you never get it apart. But the adhesive always stays in the tape and therefore it's delicate on the surface. A couple of little tricks. If you're finding that you're getting what's known as a pull when it's damaging the surface underneath, if you heat it with a hairdryer or a heat gun, something like that, that heat will soften the adhesive and help the tape remove cleanly. You should always test on the inconspicuous area first, just to make sure that you have um, a compatible surface. The reason why frog is uh, supplied in a box is the box is there to protect the edge of the tape. What you're using masking tape for is to get a straight line. The bit that gives you the straight line is the edge, but that's also the easiest part to damage. So if you damage the edge in any way, it's no longer a straight line. Kind of makes sense now. Um, so by replacing it back in its box as you're using it and as you uh, finish using it, um, that means you'll use an entire roll of tape. You think of how many times you've thrown a, 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 another brand of tape in your toolbox and it's got nicked on the edge and you've never used all of it. So that you use an entire roll, uh, uh, sorry, an entire roll of tape. The gloss and satin is when you're painting skirting boards and architraves, as I said earlier. Again, little trips on that because you can have two types of paint when you're painting woodwork. So it can either be a solvent based product where you wash your brushes out in a white spirit or a brush cleaner or a waterborne product where you wash your brushes out in a um, soapy water. If it's solvent based product, you need to run a damp cloth. You apply the tape and then run a damp cloth down the edge just prior to painting. And that means then that you'll get a lovely crisp straight line. It kickstarts the little reaction that we did earlier and will give you a lovely crisp finish. Um, they, they all come in two sizes, so they all come in a 24mm, which is a, an inch size, so that's all three across the board, and then they all come in a 36mm, which is inch, inch and a half. Um, the green one on its own is also available in a 48mm, so two inch.